effective boxing style. Look for him to throw a huge number of strikes while this fight is on the feet. A pro dating to 2003. Here is the fighter's fighter and UFC welterweight contender, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal, arguably the greatest mixed martial arts athlete the state of Florida has ever produced, a man considered by many to be the best pure boxer on this UFC roster. But let's not denigrate the other parts of his game, Joe. This is a well-rounded five-tool player fighting out of the American Top Team Academy in Coconut Creek, Florida. This guy has outstanding takedown defense. His sprawl, his timing, and his ability to get up are amongst the best in the world. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Masvidal is one year his senior. Diaz will have the two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 11 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 32 wins, 13 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back this to is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. All right, we are getting underway here at Madison Square Garden in New York City. So the Stockton Southpaw, Nate Diaz, back at it here tonight. More than 10 years on this UFC roster. Pretty fast starter. He'll try to get the hands to the target early on. And you know about the legendary chin. A lot of power in the opponent tonight, but easier said than done to get Nate Diaz out of there. Oh, nice punch there by Diaz. All right, so here we go with round one, and it doesn't figure to take him long to start to establish his kicking game, Joe. He's got some of the most powerful kicks in this division, and he does not discriminate. He'll go to the body, he'll go up top. Let's see how the early portions of this one play out. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. And he lands his first leg kick there. We told you to watch out for it, and he is not wasting any time tonight. Opponent may want to start checking some of these. Effective punch there by Gamebred. Looking to avoid that left hand. Well, he gets cracked in the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh, strong hook to the head there by Diaz. Nice. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Wow. He is hurt here. Just over two minutes to go, and what? Oh. That one appeared to stun him. Hurt. 
him with that uppercut. Oh, he went for a guillotine. He drops down for it. Arm in guillotine here. It looks like he's got that guillotine locked in tight. He's got that pretty good. That's pretty tight. Tremendous pressure on the neck. He got and it. He got it. Will do Nicely it. done. He got in the choke, refused to tap, and went night night. Well, you've got to admire the toughness, right, to not tap out. Ultimately, he chooses to go to sleep, but offensively, near-perfect execution on that submission. Beautiful transitions, clearly loose with his hips, and everything he did on the ground was near-perfect technique as he ultimately gets the submission win tonight. And here's the end of the fight. And one last time, super tight choke, and he's out. And one more time, nice technique here on this submission. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. All right, here, one more time, the Ladies veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. It's called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 43 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission... Nate Diaz! All right, so another big win for Nate Diaz here tonight, and I think more importantly, this sets him up for a massive opportunity now moving forward, perhaps even a title shot at a...